it do KTTV? This is KT and I'm coming at you live with another episode of the Daily K Podcast. And on today's episode, we have Mr. Tyrone Smith, a former NFL player and founder of First and Gold Incorporated. Today, Mr. Smith is going to talk to the KTTV audience about his upbringing and the challenges he overcame to make it to the NFL, his company, First and Gold Incorporated, and why they want to change the outlook of each child's future, one child at a time, his book, Outside the Huddle, and more. Stay tuned. Meet Mr. Tyrone Smith, a former NFL player, community leader, and family man. Tyrone decided at an early age his environment would not dictate the man he would become later in life. Man, it, it really started, man, with just having a love, man, for the game of football. Okay. Um, my mom and dad, they're from East Texas, they're from Jasper, Texas. Okay. And so we moved to Houston, man, like in the early 70s, but for better opportunity. So I grew up in Third Ward, man, so I grew up in the hood, man, so I was a hood kid, but Growing up in Third Ward, there was, there was a lot that I saw, a lot that I was exposed to. And the thing about it is it made me think about what I wanted in life, number one, and how I wanted my life to be so much better than what it was. Even though Tyrone knew he wanted more out of life, he continued to struggle in school until one educator set him down and showed him his life mattered. Went to the office 50 times in the fourth grade, 50 times at Ridgemont Elementary, fifth grade. My fifth grade teacher, Miss Betty Lou Williams, she sat me down. She said, Tyrone Smith, I've seen your record. I've noticed your behavior, but I want to let you know you're better than what I've seen. That one person. That one person. She said, you have the capacity to do whatever it is you desire to do in your life, but I need you to believe, I need you to be respectful, and I need you to be obedient. She cared. She, she spent time with me. She squared me up, man. And from that moment, man, I had, I had a different perspective in regards to education and didn't go to the office not one time in the fifth grade. That's why I'm inspired to do the work that I do at First and Gold Inc., man, to empower the next generation of young people to realize and understand you know, they can achieve their dreams, but they must set standards, goals, and expectations for themselves for those dreams and goals to become a reality. After talking to that educator, it was clear she changed the trajectory of Tyrone's life. He ended up at Baylor College on a full scholarship and eventually to the NFL before tragedy struck. As Tyrone has turned tragedy to triumph all his life, this situation was no different. This triumph was the creation of First and Goal Incorporated. And you fast forward a year later is when I get injured. I fractured and broke my T5 vertebrae, right? Okay. I had to go through, which is the fifth vertebrae yeah. um, along your spinal column in between your shoulder blades. I had to go through eight and a half months in reha of rehab in Birmingham, Alabama yeah. at the Hill Style Sports Rehabilitation Facility. And over those eight and a half months, man, I realized my life was bigger than the game of football. Over those eight and a half months, I had to just take a deeper look at myself and think about what is it that I want to do in my life? Be a difference maker. Yeah. Be a game changer. Man. Make a difference in the lives of others. And I want to use the game of football as a platform. Yeah to be an outlet and a resource to connect with schools, administrators, um, teachers, students, whoever can hear my story and my journey to challenge them to the core, to let them know that they can't overcome. Yeah. But you can't just think it, you have to execute it. So to come up with First and Gold Inc., it's about showing up, yeah. it's about being genuine, mm -hmm. it's about being passionate, it's about being real, and it's about ultimately making a difference in the lives of those young people that we serve. Along with the creation of First and Gold, Tyrone wrote Outside the Huddle, a book written to help readers reflect on their life path and mission. The book is really like a, it's based on eight practical principles I've applied in my life going back from a child up until now. Okay. It's like, a, I mean, it's, in each chapter, I give a relevant life example about how I applied each of those principles in my life growing up. Where I talk about purpose, I talk about having a plan, I talk about life as a process, it's not about what you start but what you finish. You know what I mean? I talk about pitfalls. I talk about failed experiences. I talk about people. I talk about um, progress. Yes. I talk about all these specific things. They all start with the letter P, mm -hmm. but there are eight practical principles that I've applied in my life that go back from my childhood up until now. And then at the end, there are key takeaways and key challenge um, elements as well for anybody who reads the book to really have them take a, a deeper look at themselves based on where they are okay. after they read the chapter. I'm getting a workbook edited right now. Okay. See, here we go. The workbook has been finished for two years. Mm -hmm. It's been finished for two years. 
but I wasn't like I wasn't set on where I was with the work book. I just needed to kind of sit. I had to sit down on it. Um, got Dr. Andrea Bryce right now, who's an educator and consultant, and she and the counselor. She's actually editing the editing the workbook for me right now, man. Because I wanted the, I wanted the educator, you know, put their put their eyes on it, so it can be it can be a tool. And it's it's crazy though. It's crazy because one of the things I'm going to do with the workbook as well, I'm going to put together like an educational tech, um, technological component yeah. where I can actually, you know, share and use the workbook and use a platform to be to do it virtual yes. with other students in other cities and states. As Tyrone visits schools and reflects on his life, he leaves words of encouragement for anyone facing an uphill battle. If somebody's in a dark place, the first thing I'm going to say to them is really think about, think about what it is you actually want for your life. If you truly feel and believe there are certain things you desire to have, what is it that you need to sacrifice to make that a reality? Because in life, we're going to have failed experiences. In life, we're going to have issues. In life, we're going to have circumstances. In life, we're going to have all these different things we have to battle through. But if you truly think about what it is that you want, and then think about what selfishness you need to set aside, and then who do you need to connect with that can keep you accountable for whatever it is you need to, um, whatever, whatever it is you desire. Because you can't go through life alone. There was Miss Betty Lou Williams who actually helped me. Mm -hmm. There was Dennis Brantley. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There were coaches, teachers, administrators, Walter Abercrombie, and a ton of other individuals that really helped me get to where I am. Miss Patricia Landhart, who took me in as a sophomore when my family was homeless. So when somebody's going through something, yeah, we're going to go through things. We're going to battle with things. We're going to struggle with things. Mm -hmm. But no, it's only temporary. Because the thing about it is you can't settle for less. Mm -hmm. That's if you want it. Yeah. But a lot of people tend to stay stuck. Because in life, you gotta think about it, you're either gonna, gonna move or you're gonna stay stuck. Yes, but to, to move, you gotta, you gotta make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. To make a decision is to like take action. Mm -hmm. So when you think about that person in a dark place, what action do you need to take to move from where you are? Yeah. And then when you make that move, let somebody know that you can trust and confide in yeah. who will keep you accountable to what you say that you wanna do. Yes, sir. So basically at the end of the day, it's, 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 about, it's all about let your words and your life have meaning. Yes. So if your words and your life have meaning, you're actively engaged in the life that you live. And you can reach me. First and Go Inc. website is um, Team First and Go, T E A M F I R S T A N D G O A L dot org. Team First and Go dot org. Um, you can reach us at our office line, 713 571 9121. And my, my personal um, website as well, where I do my speaking engagements, different mm -hmm. things like that. Is um, TyroneSmith24.com. T Y R O N E S M I T H 24.com. So either teamfirstandgo.org or TyroneSmith24.com or at Tyrone underscore 24 okay. on Twitter. We'd like to thank Mr. Smith for stopping by and talking to the KTTV audience today. If you'd like to hear more about his upbringing, his company, First and Gold Incorporated, or his book, Outside the Huddle, go to KTTV.com for the full interview. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to let me know your favorite part of this video. This is KT for KTTV signing out. 100.